universe calls all cause and effect from the Dhammapada verse one and two. This is the very first verse. The Dhammapada is the collection of teachings from the Buddha who lived 500 years before Jesus. Some people like worship the Buddha and things, but if you follow his teachings, one, he never talks about God. And two, he never says, you know, to worship him or anything like that. You know, same as Jesus. Jesus, anytime that they would start worshiping, he'd tell them, no, don't do that. And then they still would, and he'd just disappear. Everybody'd be like, oh, where'd Jesus go? And his disciples would have to go find him by a lake, meditate or something. The Buddha just taught, you know, the right living, right thinking, you know, the eightfold path. And essentially, he just taught verbally. For years and years, his teachings were just passed down verbally until eventually they're like, you know what? We should write this shit down. <laughs> And so the very first verse that they chose to write is this, our life is shaped by our mind. We become what we think. Suffering follows an evil thought as the wheels of a cart follow the oxen that draws it. Our life is shaped by our mind. We become what we think. Joy follows a pure thought like a shadow that never leaves. The Dhammapada, like the Tao Te Ching that we'll get into, which was also written around the same time, uh, or Lao Tzu was also around the same time as uh, the Buddha, about 500 years before um, Jesus. So they were written at a time period and within a culture where there wasn't a need to like suppress the direct knowledge. So there wasn't really a need to write in symbology. They can be a lot more straightforward with what they're trying to convey. So like this is very direct. Your life is shaped by your mind. <laughs> you know, you become what you think. And then here's an analogy for it. Suffering follows an evil thought as the wheels of a cart follow the oxen that draws it. If you tie a, a tie an ox to a to a cart, that ox cannot get away from that cart no matter what it does until you unattach it, you know what I mean? And then our life is shaped by our mind or we become what we think. Joy follows a pure thought like a shadow that never leaves. You can't get rid of your shadow. <laughs> I mean, not at all. If you got rid of your shadow, that means there ain't no more light. If light comes back, boom, shadow's there. You know, so like it's, it's to show that it's universal, you can't get around this all the time, everywhere, everyone.